Let me show you how we can use a comparison test to show that this series converges or diverge. So here we have sigma where n goes from 1 to infinity, n plus 1 over n times growth n. And I would like to just you know, ask you, imagine that if we didn't have the growth n, what's the limit as n goes to infinity of n plus 1 over n? The answer for that will be 1, right? And as you can see, in terms of a limit comparison test, if we can show that the limit of a n over b n is equal to l, where l is a positive number, where it's not zero and it's not infinity, we get to say something about the sigma of a n and the sigma of b n. Well, just as I said, we didn't want to have the screw of n over there. This is how we can do. I'm going to come with something that we know much better, which is one over screw of n. Okay, so sigma as n goes from one to infinity. 1 over screw of n, and we know this is just the same as sigma when n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over n to the 1 half power, and this is 1 half power, this is n to the p form, so p is equal to 1 half, and this is less than 1. So we know this series diverges. And then we are going to run through the limit comparison test. I will take this as my bn, and this right here as my an. And you will see that the screw of n will cancel each other out. And then, once again, for the limit comparison test, we're going to check the limit as n goes to infinity. And let's go ahead and do that. So check. I'll just write it down as as n goes to infinity. A n is this expression here. Let's put it on the top. n plus 1 over n times square root of n over b n, which is this. That we know much better. And then let me just put it in the 1 over screw of n form, and they are equivalent, anyways. So let me put that down right here 1 over square root of n. This is my check, but then we have to do some algebra first. So let's go ahead. Keep this as n plus 1 over n times screw of n, but then we multiply by the reciprocal of this. 1 over screw of n becomes square root of n over 1, right? Because we have like a complex fraction. And now, as you can see, the square of n and the square of n cancel each other out. This expression is just the same as n plus 1 on the top over n. And then as n goes to infinity, this right here, just like n matters and then n matters. This approaches, so I change it to arrow, n over n. And of course, this approaches to 1. So you see that we have a uh, a nice limit for this case. And in this case, for the nice limit, nice means that it's greater than zero, it's not infinity, and it's nice, not zero. Okay? So this is good. We get to draw a conclusion. The conclusion is this and that will have the either both of them are um, convergent or both of them are divergent. Are diverge, divergent. But we know this already, it's a divergent. Therefore, this has to diverge. Right? So I'll just say this also diverges, and the reason is by limit comparison test, LCT. And I can say with that sigma as n goes from 1 to infinity, 1 over screw of n, which we know already this by the p-series diverge, and then by the limit comparison test, that diverges as well. And this right here is the conclusion. That's it.